Hey fellow gliders, welcome back. Today we're gonna to take a look at what this My Apps warning notification is all about and how you can resolve it moving forward. So if you sign into your Glide Apps account and you see this pink banner stretched across your My Apps folder, that means that you've been around the Glide ecosystem for quite a long time and you have reached a point where you have this existing space that Glide is no longer supported. So why are they no longer supporting this space? Well, the apps that belong in this space belong to an old computation model. And Glide over the past few months have switched all of their apps over to new computation model, which makes the apps run faster and more efficiently. But they are in conflict with one another. The entire back end of these apps no longer jive with their new computation model, as well as the pricing for all of these apps no longer jive with Glide's new team folder pricing. So if you're building lots of apps, what you'll want to do is move all these apps into a new team folder. That way they can be supported and upgraded. Now, if you have any apps inside of this folder that don't need upgrading or updating, they're happy just as the way that they are, then you can leave them as is. You don't need to touch them. You can leave this team folder the way it is and just deal with that ugly pink banner stretching across the top of your screen. If you're anything like me, this thing is causing you some anxiety and you want to get rid of it as soon as possible. So uh, the way you can do this is by creating a new team folder and moving your apps into that team folder because that new team folder is supported by Glide and any apps that you bring into that new team folder will be on the new computation model. So how do we go about doing that? Well, on the left hand side of your My App screen, you're going to see a button here that says new team. Tapping on new team, you'll be able to select a new team here. For example, if I'm going to create a new team folder here where I'm going to just dump all of my apps, I can call this all apps, uh, company size, Select a company size. Otherwise, if you're not using it for a company, just say that, not using it for work. And then you can hit continue. And then you can skip this add team members, right? And now you have this blank team folder. From here, you can transfer your apps from your My Apps folder into this team folder. To do that, go to the My Apps section. For each of your apps, you're going to select the triple dots, transfer to, and then you're going to find your team folder here and select that folder. Okay, you're gonna get this warning message that says, just so you know, any members who are in that team folder will have access to this app. Well, if you don't have any members in that folder and using it for your own personal reasons, then you don't have to worry about that. So you can just select transfer and be done with it, right? Now, if there are any apps that you don't need, you can certainly trash those. You can hit delete, right? And then type out delete social, blah, 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 blah. Or you can just select it all and paste and delete it that way, right? Um, but actually what I recommend doing is just holding off on that. And just what you want to do is just transfer the apps that you want to keep, that you want to save, right? And transfer them into that folder. And then when you're ready, you can actually trash your entire My Apps folder. And then it'll delete all of those apps all at once. So it'll save you a little bit of time there. Now, this also gives you the opportunity to audit the apps that are inside of your team folder. For example, you might have apps that are concept apps where you're just kind of tinkering around, or you might have some apps that are actually templates that you're using and giving out to people. So in that case, you might want to create more than one team folder and you can divvy up your apps into those team folders appropriately. So you should find that this process is fairly straightforward, just transferring an app into a new team folder. However, the issue that you'll probably run into is if you have any apps that are on a legacy pro plan. Uh, back before we had team folder pricing, you had to pay per app. So it was like $32 or $40 per app, right? But Glide said, nope, no more. You just have to pay once for the team folder and then you can create as many apps as you want within that team folder. Those two pricing schemas don't Jive. It's like oil and water. So you can't transfer a legacy pro app into a new folder or new team folder with team based pricing. They just don't mix. So uh, what you'll have to do is either one, leave the pro plan app as is and you deal with this ugly pink banner, or you have to find a way to transfer that app into a new team folder. So there's two ways you can transfer a legacy pro plan app into a new team folder. The first way, which is the easy way, is just to dive into this app, downgrade it so that way it becomes a free app, and then you can transfer it into the team folder, and then you can upgrade the team folder and restore all of the pro features. The second way, a little bit more complicated, but it does give you more control, is to find your pro plan app, duplicate it, transfer the duplicate, which would be a free version of that app, duplicate or transfer that into the new team folder, 
upgrade your team folder, verify that that works. And then what you can do is you can switch over the URLs to the new app. So if this were an app that was a uh, legacy pro plan app, I would, you know, when I go to publish, I would take this old existing URL, copy it, change it slightly, go into the new app in the new team folder and replace the URL. And then that way your end users don't know the wiser. And then that gives you some level of control in order to, to test out the app prior to decommissioning the legacy plan app. Again, it's a little bit more complicated, more steps, but it does give you some more control and more and more timing. Um, so that way the users who are currently using your app don't experience necessarily maybe a loss of features as you're transferring things over. Um, whichever way route you want to go, there is an option for you. And worst comes to worst, you just contact Lide and they'll give you some step-by-step -step instructions as to how to move things over. Now, once you're ready um, to uh, get rid of your My Apps folder. Let's say you've transferred everything. You can go into the billing section of the My Apps folder, and you can see here that there's no way to upgrade this anymore, right? Um, so go into the billing section, hit the triple dots here, and then you say delete team. Okay, so My Apps billing, triple dots, delete team. Doing so, it's going to let you know, hey, all of your apps inside of the My Apps folder are going to be deleted permanently. And you can hit delete, fine. So again, you don't have to delete apps one at a time. If you're planning on getting rid of them anyway, you can delete them all in one fell swoop. All right. Once you've moved things over to a team folder and you want to restore pro-based features in that team folder, then just go into that folder, go to billing, and here you can choose a plan to upgrade to, right? You'll move from the free plan to like maybe the starter plan or the pro plan or so forth. Now, I want to have the option to receive customer support and to upgrade any of the apps in my apps folder. So I know that over the next week or so, I'm gonna be transferring all of these over to a new team folder. And then I'm gonna trash my my apps folder altogether. So that way I can dismiss this ugly pink banner and call it a day. If you have any questions on how to do this, feel free to leave me a comment below. You can also reach out to me at Twitter at rpetito. And as always, thanks for watching.